This time, I will analyze the Boston Red Sox outfielder, Masataka Yoshida. Yoshida is a rookie but has an excellent batting record in Japan. Alright, let's check his current trend. Yoshida signed with the Red Sox as an international free agent in December 2022. Yoshida played for Team Japan as a slugger in, the, in this spring's World Baseball Classic. He batted 4-0-9 with two formats and 30 RBIs to lead his team to its third WBC championship. He appeared in six games in his first spring training, hitting 2-3-1 with a home run and two RBI. Yoshida made his big league debut with the Red Sox on this season's opening game against the Orioles, where he recorded his first two hits. On April 3, he smashed his first home run in the opposite direction over the Green Monster. And Yoshida was sidelined during April 12 to April 15 due to right hamstring tightness. He returned to the lineup on April 16 against the Angels. This is his profile. Masataka Yoshida is from Japan and is now 29 years old. His height is 5 feet 8. So his body is really small as a baseball player. However, however, he has solid muscles for hitting a long ball. Let's take a look at his batting record in Japan. Yoshida debuted in 2016 in Japan. He was a good contact hitter to produce a high batting average and a long ball hitter. He had hit over 300 in six consecutive seasons and became the Pacific League batting champion in 2020 and 2021. The critical thing to understand about Yoshida should be his OBP on base percentage. He recorded higher than 400 in six straight seasons, especially his OBPs in 2020 and 2021 reached the middle of four points. So, he has good eyes to take many walks and get rarely struck out. Next, it's a record in MLB. Yoshida still appeared in 30 games, hitting mainly cleanup. His current batting average is only 167, but I wonder if he is struggling to hit because he missed several games due to right hamstring tightness and his past season has just started. To look at his proper condition, we need to check some numbers like OBP, base on boards, and strikeouts. His OBP is relatively lower than his record in NBB. However, his BB% percent, strikeout% percent, and BBK have kept excellent levels, almost the same as his record in NBB. Although Yoshida has yet to produce so many hits, he has been able to look at pitched balls carefully, not to sing the pitched balls on the ball zone, although he has a few strikeouts. So his batting timing is still intact, and he uses his natural ability. If he gets used to MLB pitches, his batting average will improve. Here I want to introduce how good Yoshida is. This is a comparison uh, between Yoshida and Ichiro Suzuki. Everyone knows Ichiro, a future Hall of Famer with 3089 MLB carry hit. Yoshida's record in Japan's OBP, BB% and K% categories were at the same level as an MLB legend Ichiro Suzuki. All right. I'm gonna summarize Yoshida's current situation based on the SWOT analysis. Alright, first, let's look at his strengths. So, his strength is the high batting average. He can make good contact. Next is his high on base percentage. He has good eyes for picking many works and doesn't swing for pitched balls on the ball zone. In the case of the Red Sox, their batting lineup was in good shape last year, but in the off season, they released some excellent players like Xander Bogart. They only had a little success in reinforcing the team, except for Yoshida. 
they should be unsure if they can show the same offensive power this season as last year. So Yoshida is an excellent addition to the team. About his fielding, I don't get the impression that he is a really really good defender. However, he will be able to handle it well here in MLB, taking advantage of Fenway Park whose left field is small. It's not a weakness. About physical condition, as I told you, uh, he's been sidelined with right hamstring tightness, uh, but he's been back on April 16th. As far as I see his swing, uh, there isn't much of a problem. He'll be able to play healthy from now on. About mental strength, he has good mental power. Yoshida has represented Japan in many international tournaments since he was a student. And even after he turned pro, uh, he's been in the Premier 12, uh, the Olympic and uh, the World Baseball Classic to have a good result. I'm sure he'll be able to produce good results even in a different environment like those short-time tournaments. Under a lot of pressure, he has a solid mentality. About arm strengths, I don't think he has a strong arm, but the Red Sox home park is relatively narrow in the left field, so he will do well with it. He may need help if the away ballpark has a large outfield. What do you think of his utility? Yoshida is mainly a left fielder, so he has to be fixed as an outfielder. For example, it's not the case that he can play uh, as an infielder. Well, he only has a few options in terms of utility. About physical condition, as I described, Yoshida was sidelined with right hamstring tightness, but returned on April 16. However, in April, it is still cold in some stadium, including Boston. He should be careful about his health. About body size, about body size, he is uh, five feet eight, so uh, he is by far one of the smallest major leaguers. But I think short players are not bad. I know many great short players in MLB, like Jose Altuve and Cedric Marines, but tall players can take advantage of hitting a long ball with their long arms and legs. But in any case, Yoshida's physique with many muscle will be enough to play in the majors. He will give many short players dreams and hopes by producing solid results in the majors. Right, let's move to opportunities. First, how well he can cope with the environmental change from MVB to MLB is vital. As I mentioned earlier, the Red Talks have been in the slump, so Yoshida's addition is essential. In that case, he is a long-weighted player. His high on-base percentage is significant for the Red Sox. He'll be able to get a chance as a lead of hitter and cleanup. So Yoshida can be a Boston star uh, with working very well. Next is threes. It's also a matter of how to respond to environmental changes. Yoshida needs to take uh, countermeasures against MLB pitchers. Their balls tend to move. Even their fastballs have a lot of movement. Although MLB pitchers throw faster balls than NPB, those circumstances can usually be sweet to Japanese hitters. His current batting average is low. However, as we looked at the data, he has reached the bases by taking walks and not having many strikeouts. He sees pitch the balls carefully because he is facing pitchers for the first time. His batting form and timing have remained intact. With his high batting skills, Yoshida will gradually improve his average if he gets used to MLB pitchers. I'm not too worried about him. Okay. Today, I analyzed Masataka Yoshida, a rookie of the Boston Red Sox. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Thank you, baseball.
phone 24 7 no reply when i ticked at 10 past 11 and i swear you only tell me what i want to hear the real thoughts buried deep beneath the love and fears i'm in a muddle lost inside a